Welcome to the video. In this one, we are going to get this I squared C 16 by 2 LCD working with this Arduino Uno. And we're going to make it to where we can do whatever we want with this display, display whatever we want on it without writing any code. That's my main objective here on this channel at this point. I don't ever want to write any code again. We're going to let AI do it for us. But first, but first we're going to make some connections to our breadboard from the Arduino. And I squared C just takes two data lines, SDA and SCL. So we're going to hook those up now. A4 on the Arduino is SDA. A5 on the, on the Arduino is SCL. And we are going to connect those up to this set of rails right here. So A4, which is SDA, is right here on the Arduino. And we are going to connect that to this positive rail right here. And then the SCL signal from the Arduino being difficult we're going to connect to the negative rail here typically these rails are just used for power but i'm going to use them for uh, i squared c because we can connect devices all along this rail and you notice there are jumpers here to connect this side to this side because you see how there's a break in those lines there the blue and red lines that means they're not connected so we went ahead and connected them so on this other side we want to have power from the Arduino so we're simply going to connect ground just find a, any old ground pin doesn't matter which one as long as it says G and D and we're going to connect that to negative over here and then we're going to find 5 volts right here there we go and we're going to connect that here and I'm sorry if I block your vision so I'm also trying to uh, tell y'all exactly what the hookups are. So that's the physical connections to the Arduino board, to the breadboard. Next thing we need to do is connect the LCD to the breadboard. And we're going to use one of these. This is a, I believe it's called a DuPont cable, I think. It's got female on this side, and it's got male on this side. And if you look at the other side of your I2C display... Uh, you'll see four pens here, and they are labeled. I don't know if we can get in there close enough or not. Let's see. You should be able to see those labels right here from left to right. Ground, VCC, SDA, SCL. I don't really care what order I plug these in. On this side... But what I am going to do, so I'm just going to plug these in right here. Okay, so all four of those wires are plugged onto those four connectors on the display. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to make a note of the color that I have each one of these pins connected to. And I have done that now. Ground is going to yellow. VCC to orange, SDA to red, and SCL to brown. Having this as a reference just makes it a lot easier to not make mistakes as you're connecting everything up. So now I know that ground is the yellow wire. And we'll go ahead and connect that to minus on our power rail. And I do have a a note here to remind myself which side is which uh, and let's see what's what's next VCC is orange so that's going to go to the power side as well to positive side and then what do we have now red is SDA and so I know that SDA is positive on this rail, so red goes to positive. That makes sense, right? And then our last connection is brown goes to SCL, 
and SCL is the minus side or negative. Okay, here we go. Looks like I was getting a little flickering on the screen. So I might have one of these guys is kind of loose. Let's see, what is going on? Yeah, something, something is kind of loose here. We good now? All right, let's roll with that. So uh, all of our physical connections are made. Now, if you, if you notice here, I did write 0x27 on the bottom of this display. That is the default uh, I, I squared C address for, this, for the LCD display. And I think that should work fine without even telling it. But what I like to do, I like to know the I squared address of whatever device I'm using on the I squared C bus. Because um, if you have two devices with the same address, it's not going to work. And also, a lot of times, the libraries that we're going to be using in our code, they need to know this address. And if it's not the, the, the default one, you may have to change it in the code. So, um, yeah, we have everything we need. Let's go ahead and open up Grok. Okay, so here we are on our Grok screen. And Grok is my AI of choice. This will work with pretty much any of them, though. This is pretty simple stuff. The first thing I like to tell Grok is exactly the hardware I'm using and any other information I feel will help it. I don't like to let Grok make too many assumptions about the hardware I'm using. So I am using an Arduino Uno and also an I2, whoops, I2C 16 by 2 LCD display that has an address of 0x27. And if you don't know your address, you don't have to put it here. If most of the time, if you just bought one, it's going to have that default address, and Grok is going to try to use that default address anyways. I've just learned that it's better not to leave some things to chance. If you want to find out the I squared, ad I squared C address of your device, I made another video that I'll link down below that'll show you an easy way to do exactly that. So, uh, yeah, we've told it what hardware we have, and now... Um, write a sketch that will print hello world on the top line and center it on the bottom line. I'm calling it lines. It's rows. On the bottom line, I want a counter that will count from zero to, I'll just say a million, incrementing every second. Okay. And let's see what Grok comes up with. All right. The code is written, uh, but if you look at the information below, uh, and this is one thing I love about, about AI, it will tell us that we need to have this liquid crystal I squared C library installed. And it tells you exactly how to do it too. Go to sketch, include library, manage library, search for liquid crystal I2C. And it even tells us uh, to use the one by this guy right here. So I am going to go ahead and do that now. We're going to open up our Arduino IDE. I do not have any libraries on it. We're going to select Manage Libraries. And I just copied that from that last screen. Oh, and I need to do all. So I was just on Installed Libraries. Okay, and we're going to just uh, 
scroll down until we see one by that guy. Okay, Frank de Bram Brabender. Okay, that's the one that uh, Grok was talking about. So we're going to install that and successfully installed. And I did have serial the the the, uh, the Uno is actually running uh, that I squared C scanner. <laughs> Still, that was the last code I installed, so I decided to show it to you guys because uh, it is backing up that that LCD screen is at 0x27. So that's perfect. So now our library is installed. Let's go back to Grok. And the rest of the rest of these instructions, um, we don't really need. Just just says what the program's supposed to do, what it's going to do. I do find this interesting. The counter will take approximately 11 and a half days to reach its maximum value. Okay, that's good to know. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to go to the top of this code to these two little boxes here, click them, and that'll copy the code to the clip to the clipboard. We go back to the Arduino IDE. I'm going to close up that um, library manager. We don't need that anymore. And we're also going to want to look at at our display here see if it's working or not and we're just going to paste our code in into Arduino and now we're just going to upload it and fingers crossed let's see what happens I'm going to hit upload and let's see what happens here hello world centered and counter is counting exactly like I told it to. Okay, now that we have that working, uh, let's make a few edits to this. Let's see if we can do anything else with it. Um, make hello world flash on and off once a second. Also, once, also, I want you to make the counter line scroll back and forth bouncing off of the two walls one make it move one character over once every half second Let's see if that, let's see if it makes sense because sometimes the cues are bad. Uh, the counter line scrolling back and forth every half second. I think it understood. I think it understood. Okay, and the code is finished. Let's go ahead and do a copy. Let's go back to Arduino. We're going to highlight all this stuff. We're going to delete it and then we're going to paste paste the new code and then we're going to upload. And we're going to look at just this camera and see if it got it right. Okay, here it goes. Hello world is flashing. And the counter is scrolling. However, the counter is kind of hard to read because this you have some per persistence uh, going on. So we're going to make one more little edit to our code and then we'll call it a video so um, make the counter line scroll slower let's say one second per move instead modified code now, I like to read this little bit of text that's over the code because that kind of lets me know if it understands understands what I'm wanting it to do and it looks like it does so we're going to copy that again uh, I broke my rule I always like to sc scroll down here and make sure it's actually finished coding so I'm going to copy that to the clipboard we're going to go back to our Arduino we're going to highlight the text delete it and paste the new stuff we're going to upload and then we're going to look at just the board and let's see if it scrolls a little slower now Yep, it does. And 
I can read it a lot easier. I don't know why anyone would ever want to do that. <laughs> but if you do, there it is. So we have learned how to use the LCD I2C display with the Arduino. And we never wrote a line of code. Thanks a bunch for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Bye, y'all.